Okay, welcome to this video. In this video, we're now going to connect and, and set up our Google Administrative Control Panel. We're going to create a SAML application and we're going to use this for authentication or as an identity provider. So let's go through and configure that first part. So you'll note I've logged into admin.google.com. I'm going to click on apps and I'm going to go over here and click on SAML apps. I'm going to click on the plus yellow button here to enable a single sign-on for a SAML app. I'm going to set up my own custom app. And I'm going to take note of these details. I'm going to copy that and paste that. And I'm going to download the certificate that they provided me here because I'm going to need to install this onto the Netscaler. Let me download that now. And we'll show in folder. Right. So that's in the JS Consulting download section. That's fine. I'm going to click next. So we'll call this Netscaler SAML. Actually, it's. Actually, let me put in front of that JSCS Netscaler SAML description. I'll click next. Now this is where we need to provide details of the the assertion consumer service URL. Now that's basically just the gateway with a couple of other details added in. So let me go and get those details and show you. So for example, my gateway name is https gateway dot jsconsulting.services slash cgi slash saml auth. The entity ID is, I'm going to use just as the FQDN of the site, put that there, and the start, whoops, control C, control V, and the start URL the same. I'm going to make sure it is a signed response, and for the name ID, we're going to use basic information, primary email, and name ID format, we really can change to email for now, and we'll leave it as that. I'm going to click next. I'm not going to change the attribute mappings at this stage. I'm just going to click finish. And you'll note now that we've configured the setting, it says you need to upload the Google IDP data on JSCS Netscaler SAML to complete the SAML configuration process, which is fine. I need to provide the URL that we copied earlier as part of the setup and the certificate. So let's click OK to that. The SAML uh, configuration is complete but you'll notice that it's currently off because it's not enabled for any of the organizations within Google. So I'm just going to click on for everybody and turn on for everybody. And it does say the propagation for that can take up to 24 hours. That depends on where you have users, whether they're global or whether they're just in a particular site. I've normally found it takes between 15 and 30 minutes at a maximum. So that's it just for the Google configuration of the IDP settings for SAML enabling of our Netscalers. In the next video, we'll go through and do the Netscaler configuration. So let's go now and add our Netscaler gateway configuration to talk or, or to leverage this SAML configuration. So you can see what that looks like. Now, we've used a lot of the wizard-driven setup for the Netscaler gateways and unified gateway and connections to ZenApp and Zen Desktop. In this instance, we're going to do the hard way, we'll do it the manual way. So I'm going to click on Netscaler Gateway, I'm going to click on Virtual Servers, and we're going to add a new virtual server. So I'm going to call it gateway.jsconsulting.services. I'm going to give it an IP address of 192.168.1.52, and I want it to operate on port 443 or SSL. I'm going to bind the gateway.jsconsulting.services certificate so that the FQDN, the DNS name, and the certificate name all match. I'm going to bind that. I'm going to click continue. And then here under basic authentication is where we tell it that we want to assign a SAML policy as the primary authentication. And we want to bind it. So I'm going to bind the policy we created in the last series, in the last few steps. I'm going to, I'm going to I'm going to click select and I'm going to click bind. Clicking continue. I'm going to skip the advanced authentication. I'm going to click continue. 
Um, and that's basically it for the configuration of the virtual server. I'm going to change the portal theme, we'll change this to green bubble. Worth noting that SAML at the moment does not work with RF web UI. So if you try and use that, SAML will not work. Um, certainly is the primary authentication anyway. Uh, so change the portal theme to green bubble, click OK. Um, and in order to just check that we can log into some sort of service on the Netscaler, what I might actually do is I'm going to click done on this virtual server. I'm going to go to the global settings of the Netscaler gateway. I'm going to change the global settings and basically simply turn on a, a, a Netscaler VPN or allow the Netscaler VPN to operate. So I'm going to go to client experience, turn split tunneling on, and I'm going to change the default authorization authorization action to allow and click OK. I'm going to click save to save those settings. And I'm going to click back on virtual servers and there's the gateway. It's up, it's running, it's happy. Let's go and test it. Actually, one other setting we need to change is the under the global settings, we need to change the client experience from Java type to Windows or Mac OS X. Click OK. I'm going to click save again on the configuration. And now we can go and test the, the gateway. Let me go and do that. So in order to test this, I want to connect to a blank Windows 7 machine without any installation on it, without any gateway configurations, without ever having logged into it. So we can see what the full process looks like. So here's what I created earlier. And I'm going to log into that machine and I'm going to open Internet Explorer. I'm logged in as a local administrator. So I have rights to install any agents or anything that we need. I don't want to go to the awful MSN website. Let's I don't want to go to the MSN website. Let's quickly change that. And we'll go to the gateway address. HTTPS. And now we've connected to this Windows 7 machine. I'm going to browse to gateway.jsconsulting.services. And instantly you'll note that it's forwarded me to accounts.google.com and it's asking me to log in. So let me type in my username and password. And I'm going to type my password. And because I have two-factor authentication set up on my Google account, I'm going to enter the code. And I'm going to enter my 2FA code. Google's authenticated me and passed me back to the Netscaler, ready to log in and work in the Netscaler. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you in the next videos. Bye now.